Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we were in the gallows. This is where we make our last stand alongside the mages, of all things. Now, we have a little bit of time before the Templars arrive. We have all of our companions. Emil. Emil is in the back. And Elaine. I find that very surprising because I thought Elaine uh, was executed. And maybe he was, like, scheduled to be executed and they just never got around to it. Like, all of this happened so quick that his execution date hadn't rolled around. Maybe... Maybe that's it? I don't know. Um, oh, rudeness. Rudeness. Varric isn't in my party. You can't do that to me. God damn. Um, I think I'm gonna talk to, uh, Emil and Elaine first, and then... Then we'll see what our companions have to say. Though all before me is darkness, yet shall the Maker's light be my guide. Yes. Absolutely. Let us... Let us sing the chant before the battle. Merit is a handsome woman. <laughs> if only she wasn't insane and trying to kill me. Emil! Emil, no! Put your dick away! This is... Amelia, she's just like, don't talk about Meredith in that way! Do not disrespect her! Merit is a handsome woman. <laughs> Also, if back it up. insane and trying to kill me. God damn it, Emil. God damn, you fucking horn dog. The circle will never be the same. Not here, not anywhere. Mm. I should be afraid of what's to come, but I'm not. I should be afraid okay. of what's to come, but I'm not. Okay, fair dues. Fair dues, Elaine. This all. Who do we want to start off with? Um. I th I'm kind of inclined. Let's. We'll start off with Meryl because that is Amelia's least favorite person. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do. Or does all this feel like a dream to you too? Um, ooh. A little bit, I think I've had this dream, this is real. Um, Amelia wishes this wasn't real. She wishes it was a dream. Um, and I was, I was literally saying in the, in the last episode, in her wildest dream, she could never ima have imagined this. Yeah, I think... As I said, Amelia, she's she's just kind of on instinct. That's she's walking on fumes. Like the lights are on, but there's there's nobody home back here. I kind of I think she might have entered like a little bit of a fugue state, you could say. She's like up and about and she's responding, but she's she isn't really there. So yeah, I think this this does all feel kind of hazy and unreal. I can't believe it's come to this. You'll get us through this. You always do. Hawk, before we go, I... It's, been, it's not been an honor. Amelia doesn't like you. And we're not going to say no goodbyes because, again, Amelia's like, I would happily say goodbye to you. Um... I guess this is... She has made jokes for so long. They are kind of a part of her. This is, I, I could see her just on instinct, on impulse, saying something funny just, just because that's what she tends to do. Haven't I said you worry too much? We'll be fine. Come on. Oh, Meryl. Oh, Meryl. Um, who next? Aveline, let's go for you. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, 
Let's just say we need some luck. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Uh, any regrets? Starting to doubt me? Never. Almost never. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. Oh, Aveline, I'm, I'm, I'm just reminded of that first cut scene, you know, where she's protecting Wesley, and you know she's beating the shit out of the Darkspawn. She's just punching them, and you know they will not have you. Oh. Oh, we, we started this with her. Of course she'd be here at the end. It, oh. Oh, God. Um, next, I think, Sebastian. Amelia. I don't know if Amelia could look Sebastian in the eyes. She just feels that guilty, you know, for her involvement in all of this. It's hard to look at these apostates and not see Anders. Andraste says we're all children of the Maker and deserve the freedom to walk by his side or throw ourselves to the void. Still, I can't imagine she would support this chaos. Mm. This is the right thing to do. My sympathies on Elfina. It's too late now. Yeah. She just... She knows how much Elfina meant to Sebastian. And she's, she's just so sorry that she was involved. I'm sorry about the Grand Cleric. But there's much more at stake. She was a mother to me. To every brother and sister in the Chantry. He never took a moment to get to know her. But not every mage is Anders. We're here to help those who have suffered unduly at our hands. I don't know that we can win this, Hawk. Or even if we should. But I will not turn from you now. You've been a good friend. It will be my honor to fight at your side. Oh, that, that, that does speak to Amelia because she doesn't know if they should win this. As I said, Amelia is genuinely hoping that she will die on this battlefield because she, she, by all rights, she should not walk away from this still breathing. She really shouldn't. Now, I'm going to end on Varric because that makes thematic sense. Isabella or Fenris? Um, I think Fenris next. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. Oh yeah, it's it's what I do best. This isn't so strange, really. What's one more life or death battle? An excellent point. Then let me say one more thing, in case it's the last. You're a good friend. The only one I've ever had. It will be an honor to fight at your side. Now the battle awaits us. Navia Lerno Victoria. Only the living know victory. Fight well. Oh, Fenris. Fenris, it's been an honor. It's been an honor, friendo. Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinta by now? Maker's breath. Take off with a priceless relic once, and you never hear the end of it. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari, and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. Hmm. Yeah, there was, there was absolutely not a chance in hell Amelia was going to let the Canari run off with her. If you'd gone with them, I wouldn't have been able to yell at you. Oh, well, I'm glad you wanted to yell at me so badly then. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. Mm, my girl! My girl! Mm. Oh god, and Varric! My trusty dwarf! Oh bud, it... I imagine Amelia, she she is relying on Varric right now. As I said, as she's going to all of these people, 
she's just kind of opening her mouth and the words are coming out. As I said, the lights are on, nobody's home. She is... She's relying on Varric so much right now. Nervous Hawk? Hell yes! My mother didn't raise any stupid children. I know how dangerous this fight will be. Well, that's comforting. It's the most dangerous thing we could ever do. But at least we know that. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not... Not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. Oh. She is immensely glad that he's here. She needs him. Whatever I'm going into, it's good to have you along. It has been an honor, Hawk. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet Destiny? Oh, indeed. Indeed, it's time. We've looked at everything. There's a chest I can't open. That's really fucking annoying. Oh, God, Orsino. Orsino, it is time. This... This... I, I don't think Amelia... I don't think she realizes this. Um, if she were in a more normal state of mind, all of these goodbyes... I've said this before, she has, she has abandonment issues, basically. She doesn't like the thought of people leaving her, even Meryl. For as much as Amelia doesn't like Meryl, if she left, she would be devastated just because so many people have left her. And right now, she's still reeling from the death of Anders. But it's... The, the group is going to go their separate ways. Nothing is going to be the same after this. I just dinged my mic. I apologize if you heard that. Yet nothing is going to be the same. And with everyone gone, she will be truly alone with nothing but her regrets. And again, she, she doesn't realize that just yet. But when she does, oh, it's going to be bad. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. Is is this really completely hopeless? You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. And um, Amelia, she's... <laughs> Again, if she were in her right mind, I think she'd be like, no, 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 surely you can all just... We can all just go and join other circles. Like, this isn't... As I said, Amelia isn't fighting for mage freedom right here. She is literally just fighting because these people shouldn't be killed for her crime. Let the games begin. Very well. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. Let's go. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Isabella, I want you to fight from stealth. Keep them confused. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. So, this is it. Some of you are worried. Maybe I am too. But I'm not staying long enough to find out. What I know is that I don't like being cornered. And I can fight harder scared than they can angry. We're getting out. And I'm buying when we do. Champion, it is beginning. Break it down. Here they come. Stop them. Come <laughs> on. 
say any of that. Varric said that, and he just gave Amelia the credit now that I'm... <laughs> loot. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm bringing Puppy. Go, go, go. Okay. Let's get more central. And is that a lane? Yeah, that's a lane. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Come on. That's it, mages. No, no. That is not what I meant by that's it. That wasn't a thing to finish. Come on. Get him. I can't, why have you two bubbled? You really didn't need to. Go forward. Okay, everyone's still fighting. Good stuff. Look at it all. Why don't they just drown us as infants? Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. Um, ooh, no, 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 no. We're not gonna threaten to kill Meredith. Um, uh, I think, yeah. Amelia has never been very respectful of Orsino. However, he's... When when mages get emotional, then they start doing dodgy shit. You need to calm down, Orsino. This is not helping, First Enchanter. I am tired of helping as well. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic, then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. whose name started with O was indeed Orsino. Later on, Amelia is going to be like, I was right. <laughs> Fucking vindication. I was right to be suspicious of him. Okay, let's see. I'm... Ooh, we have... We have tenth class coming through and... Aveline. Aveline. He's stuck over there. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Go after him. Okay. Just keep on him. And for no, no, don't come over here. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't. Whatever you're selling, I don't want it. God, he's still following me. What are you all doing? God, Aveline. Aveline is baying for Templar blood. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh shit, oh shit, Amelia! Ah! There we go! Okay, just. Oh god, it's loose! It's loose! And it's summoning skeletons! Okay, hello! You're right! You're right, mate! Could you bugger off? Thank you! What's everyone doing? Everyone is fine! Okay, where is, where is it? Where is? I can't, oh god, I can't see it. I can't see it. That's never good. Got it. Take it out. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Paste it up. And go, go, go. On. And it, it 
buggered off again. Ooh, mm. Meryl, I don't. Oh, you! Oh, see, no! Oh, see, no, no! That's not right! Oh, there goes Varric. And just. The reason why I keep checking. So, Isabella, she'll do this sometimes. And it makes me laugh after, you know, after that whole conversation where she's like, when you look to me in the fight, I'll be by your side. Sometimes she will backflip over the edge. And so you'll be looking like, where's Isabella? Where's Isabella? And she's down there, unable to do anything. It's rather funny, but also very annoying. So that's why I keep checking the battlefield. I'm looking for Isabella. Okay, and let's revive and group heal. There we go. There we go, you're down. Good stuff. Now, where you at? Where you at? There you are, you little bastard. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god, is he- he's back up. He's back up, because of course he is. And he's got a fucking meat hammer, that ain't right. No, 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 no you don't- you can't hit me with your meat hammer. He hit me with his meat hammer. Okay. Come on. We can haste in a minute. There we go. Puppy is still up. Go on, Dane. Get in there. Come on. Nah, what are you trying to do? Hey. Ugh. Ugh, look at that. Look at that. Not much more. Of course, his head could jump off again. Take him out. There we go. We should move quickly. Yes, we should. And that, that was for Leandre, you bastard. Oh, yes. Give, give me your shit. I demand it. <laughs> Staff of violation. Of course, that's what it's called. That, that's pretty decent. <laughs> that is pretty decent. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not using it. No, thank you. Is everyone going to be okay? Did Anders ever tell you what he wanted with the Chantry? Oh, God. This, this is what I mean. Amelia will never be able to look him in the eyes again. Never. She didn't know, but... Obviously, he's going to think she was involved. Have I mentioned that I don't really like it here? <laughs> no one likes Kirkwall. I heard about Carver, and I'm sorry for what it's worth. I didn't need another reason to hate the dark spawn. Isabella. That happened like six years ago. Is did you think he was on holiday? Girl, girl okay. Clearly Isabella hit her head during the fight with uh, the harvester. Clearly that's what happened there. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go and loot while we go, of course, because that's what we must do. A yoink. And a yoink. I... To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what Amelia's plan is at this stage. Maybe she's thinking, if I tell Meredith that the first enchanter's dead, I'll tell him that he was using... I t I'll tell her she... I can't speak English today, apparently. I'll tell her that she was right... He was using blood magic, but they're all dead. That made me jump. Um, 
maybe maybe she'll calm down and you know this can all be over and I'll I'll just be executed for my crimes and you know Kurtzwall won't have to have fighting on its streets maybe that's what she's thinking cut the rock come on get him and we can't see Dane yet but now we can come on down uh, hello? Come on, Amelia? Amelia, would you like to fight something? Okay, um, Am Amelia, again, I don't know why you're stopping fighting. Oh, they're off. We've got so many rage demons. Too many rage demons. Okay, and next. You next. Fuck her off. There we go. That's it. Hit him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Glandavalis, you amazing thing. Do you wanna do you wanna help? Do you wanna help? No, you decided to be a dick. Okay, there we go. Anyone else? Anyone else wanna be an asshole? No? Okay then. A yoink. No, no, no. Give. Give. Okay, there's there's nothing hidden over here. Whilst we've got a minute, let's level everyone up. Okay, you can have uh, two constitution, one willpower. Uh, eight ability points. That's what Amelia's ending the game with. Good job. Varric Bud, you want uh, two decks, one con. And, um, you really don't need either of these. Let's go for that. Uh, you want two strength, one willpower. And have that. You what? Why do you have 56 strength? You should only have 55. There we go. Let's go for that. Okie doke. I, I only have two minutes left on my timer, so we have at least one more codex entry. Staff of Violation. Old friend. First enchanter Casimira was no blood mage. Hogwash. Your story of her investing dark arts into the staff is just that, a fable. Casimira was, in fact, the first leader of Kirkwall's Circle of Magi. She was saddled with the great task of transforming a decrepit, crumbling prison into a proper home for mages transferred to her from all over Thedas. Some of those mages were apostates, men and women one step away from being rendered tranquil, and it was her unfortunate task to keep order. How many battles did she fight in those early days? How much blood was spilled on these grounds? Casimira had to be a hard woman, but she did it to keep the Templars from declaring the right of annulment and killing us all. And your other rumour that she was arrested by the First Knight Commander? I am telling you it isn't so. I have studied the records and the truth of the matter is that Casimira was taken by a demon and slain before she could endanger the tower. The Templars admired her strength in holding the demon back long enough for them to act. It was a noble sacrifice and Casimira's staff was kept by the first enchanters to, co to commemorate this. It saddens me that people choose to dwell on its form rather than the lessons it signifies. A letter by First Enchanter Orsino, 926 Dragon. Anything else? Hmm. I don't believe so. Yep, that... That is it. Alrighty then. Oh my, this... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the next episode is gonna be the last. Well, damn, okay. So, until then.
please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.